How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be mainly talking about how to complete the fourth inning conquest turn-based mission. I had a good feeling that they would have a turn-based mission if it is a lot less game. So uh, one quick thing I wanted to go over is this upcoming schedule. We are going to have the live series event part two making a return with the Kenny Lofton and Fred McGriff reward path along with linked up with that. So that's going to be nice. We're also going to have a brand new headliner card as well as uh, Battle Royale rewards and a brand new player program, an all-star legend that we'll be able to grind out upcoming here over this next week or so. So this is all good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and hide the face cam and talk a little bit about some of these uh, cards that I missed in the other video as well as this upcoming conquest for the fourth inning. It's pretty straightforward. I am going to be going over it and uh, talking a little bit about how to set it all up. And I'm not going to be completely finishing the entire conquest because it's going to take you about six to eight games in order to complete it. But I wanted to show you how to complete the very first mission, probably the most challenging one. And what we're looking at right here is the fourth inning 150 uh, program star choice pack. You are able to choose between Ted Williams, Chris Archer, and Ryan Braun. I think that uh, Ryan Braun has got to be the pick out of this pack. I would also like to pick up Ted Williams. Chris Archer is not a pitcher that I'm looking to use, but uh, I might try to get him just because of the collections for those legends, those specific tiers like rookie, veteran, uh, all-star, postseason, breakout. We are going to be able to collect a variety of those cards for future programs and potential collection rewards. So anyway, I just want to try and include as many tips as I can in this video. This Ryan Braun is definitely the move at 125 contact with 114 power against lefties. The vision attribute doesn't really matter as much this year. And this card is going to be amazing, especially if there are runners on base when he's facing a left-handed pitcher. I mean, 74 speed is pretty good. I would never use this card on defense with 49 fielding. But as a bench bat, this is definitely going to be a, a card I'm going to try out. I'm going to use this dude in my ranked seasons team and possibly in the upcoming events or uh, in the future. So this card's very good. I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about these cards because I didn't bring them up or show them off in the previous video. I just focused on the fourth inning bosses. So this Chris Archer is all right. He will have amazing break on the slider. It's also coming in at 88 miles an hour, but the other pitches just aren't good enough. He kind of has a pretty simple delivery as well. It's not really that deceptive, but in years past, he has been okay. I mean, he was a free card. This card, you were able to get through the ticket counter a couple years ago. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get into the conquest map a little bit. This is going to help you with this program. It's going to give you 30 program stars. Uh, and that's going to give you a lot of progress towards 150, towards the 300 mark, towards a lot of these packs that the fourth inning is giving out. So as you can see here, this is the map, a quick glimpse at the map. If you notice that very first mission says take the Seattle Mariners stronghold in two turns or less. I have completed it, but I want to show you all how to do this. Now, there's a variety of ways you can complete this. If you're, if you're unfamiliar with how Conquest works, you can always uh, hit the start button and hit the rules tab in this screen right here but i'm moving straight towards the mariners with all the reinforcements that i have it's going to give me a pack it's going to give me some stubs here i'm kind of risking it i'm simulating but though it's not really a risk because i don't have to get there in one turn and i'll kind of explain what i mean as we move forward i am going to attack them on this very first turn though i feel like i don't want to steal fans against them i might as well just play them on hall of fame this is not something that you have to do when you get right up to their stronghold you can skip that turn and then also reinforce or steal fans but then you have to win in that next turn if you play this game on hall of fame and lose you still have an opportunity to steal fans and reinforce and play them again so i figured why not why not try to just play them on hall of fame if i win i win if i lose i lose and uh, it went into extra innings. I mean, we're in the top of the fourth inning, but the main tip I can give uh, playing against the computer on Hall of Fame is have somebody on your bench with good speed and a great stealing attribute. The computer is always going to know when you're going to steal. So there I pinch ran Taylor Trammell, the future star card for Ken Griffey Jr., the World Series reward. But that's because I got on base. I wanted to uh, steal second successfully. 
Griffey only has 81 speed with like a 30 something steal attribute. Uh, so here we go. We got the run in scoring position on third base. I ended up grounding out to first base. And that's the thing. The infield's going to play in. Just needed to pop up. And we didn't get the job done. But we clutch up with two outs. All you really have to do is just score one run. If you have the pitching, and you have good pitchers with good hits and Ks per nine against the computer. It doesn't really matter as much about the control. If you can locate with them, then you should be able to get the job done and uh, win the game. If you lose the game, you can always try again and steal fans from the Mariners starting all over and, and play. But if you play this on Hall of Fame, you might have a chance at a diamond. There we had a chance at uh, Jack Flaherty. We did not get him, but it's all good. We completed the mission. We completed the hardest mission for this conquest. And now, based on the layout of the remaining spaces on the map, we only have to play about six more games or five more games. If we if we steal fans on Hall of Fame for four million fans, then we'll complete that steal fans mission. Then we'll also only have to play another four games for the stronghold. So we could technically complete it in five more games. I'm probably just gonna play, you know, two games on veteran rather than one game on Hall of Fame. I don't know. But we made some good progress on this. Now I'm gonna show you how to set it up in order to finish off the rest of the map if you're not familiar with the conquest mode in general so uh, basically this is the steal four million fans mission that i was talking about you can do this four separate games on rookie you can complete the entire conquest restart it and then complete this afterward just focusing on steel fans there is a variety of ways to complete conquest and this mode in this game i just want to make sure that i reiterate that and explain that very carefully uh, you don't necessarily have to complete it in the same exact way I did, as I explained earlier. But uh, as you complete this, all you have to do now at this point is steal 4 million fans and conquer all the other strongholds and spaces on the map. How you're going to do that is uh, go into skip to reinforcements if you don't want to steal fans in this situation, which is what I'm going to do. But as you can see here from this path, I just went straight towards the Mariners and took them on turn one. Watch very carefully. If I skip this phase, in the bottom right, it said turn one before. And I want to talk about this rules tab as well. So all these things are going to be timing. See how it says in the bottom right, turn one. Now I'm going to skip it. So I skip to the reinforce phase. That doesn't advance the turn. I, I reinforce. I put the fans on there. And now I'm going to move some guys around. I still have, you know, a couple million fans on that stronghold that I just took. So I'll transfer some over to the other space I'm trying to expand off of. But if you notice, once I move the fans, it skipped the turn to turn two. So that is when you would have to take the Mariner Stronghold would be on this turn if you haven't done so already in order to complete it. So I'm trying to explain it to everyone. What we are going to do is since we have completed it, we are going to expand every three million fans that you get or three million or three spaces that you obtain, you get another uh, 1 million reinforcements. So as we're doing this, we are building up our army, I guess, in this mode. That's kind of what it would be called. We're building up our territories. We're, we're building up our reinforcements to move out and conquer these MLB strongholds. It's very similar to like a risk type of style board game or kind of a board game within Diamond Dynasty. I really like this mode. I've always played these conquest missions and, and maps. I have not completed the Mother's Day one, but I will be doing so eventually. Uh, as you can see here, I simulated a space that was occupied by the Mariners. That's an example of what you don't want to happen if you're going straight for them on the first turn. If you're worried that that's going to happen, you can play all of those individual games. Every time you go up for one of those spaces that's occupied by another team, you can play those games. I just don't recommend it. Uh, you could also just restart if you lose too many fans in that simulation you could just restart go straight for the mariners again and try it out once you get to uh, the same type of path that i was able to get if you want to do it that way you can i'm just trying to provide as many options as possible but now i'm in a great position i will simulate each and every space until i reach the angels logo icon the a's logo icon the rangers and the astros i'll probably end up taking fans from the Rangers in this specific conquest because they're probably the easiest team to beat on Hall of Fame, but it might be the A's. It's one of those two teams. I know the Angels and the Astros will be much tougher to play on Hall of Fame, especially with all the live series quirks. 
But anyway, I wanted to just mention the schedule once again. This is something to keep in mind. Always check this main screen because you might find something and figure out something that other people might not know about right then and there. But that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully I explained how to complete conquests in the fourth inning very easily. Peace out.